How you doing, guys? And this topic is kind of on... Uh, I've been hearing news reports on um, possible Apple switching to ARM processors. Now, this came up before, um, roughly a year ago uh, in the news. And since this popped up again, I, I kind of want to talk about it. Um, of course, with their iPads and iPhones, uh, which are now, I think, A6X processors, are getting quite powerful, even with, um, I think, quad-core graphic chips, GPUs. And um, they, of course, have their own engineers working on this. I think Bob Mansfield was mentioned. And, uh, of course, now with the A6X, I think that's even Apple's own design. So uh, I could see why they might be considering it. I think Apple's keeping their options open and looking into it, which I can understand. Now let's look at uh, some reasons why they might be doing this uh, for different reasons. Um, they can offer a unified computer environment across all of its platforms, uh, which includes its desktops, laptops, uh, of course their mobile devices, iPads and iPhones. And I think it, um, it'd be nice also to get away from Intel uh, processors uh, because um, they tend to be quite expensive um, and uh, often long wait times. Apple's often got to wait on Intel till they release a new one. Of course, using their own design uh, and well manufacturing, and then you know they don't have to wait for Intel. Um, the power efficiency of these uh, ARM processors are, are very good. So uh, obviously, using in mobile devices and laptops. Uh, you're going to have some great power savings. Uh, the use of these smaller components um, will often make these devices smaller and thinner. Um, now, uh, another thing that was, um, you know, people were considering is why don't they kind of build their own x86 Intel version? Um, probably it's not going to happen considering um, uh, Apple or the Intel, which has the um, patent licenses for making these type of processors, um, they don't give them out anymore. So um, also Apple's way behind in that technology as well. And Intel, even AMD is going to really beat them out on that one. Of course, uh, Apple is up to par on the ARM processors, which is often using embedded systems. Uh, mobile phones, tablets. I already talked about their own design now. Uh, I do see quite a few problems with them using these type of processors. Um, the performance is simply way behind the Intel offerings, even on the mobile versions. And they're at least five years away from making um, the performance uh, to match those of uh, Intel or e even AMD. And by the time they finally catch up, and then Intel's already making something even faster. Plus, of course, Intel uh, is making a push toward more power efficiency. Now, Intel's more known for their performance. Um, so um, they're kind of a little bit behind in, in the power savings, uh, obviously. Uh, now, another problem is uh, the big uh, change from software because uh, you're going from a uh, x86 type processor Intel to a ARM processor now. You're going to have to rewrite uh, a lot of the software. Of course, um, Apple made a big switch from the early 90s when they went from PPC ARM type processors to Intel. And uh, wow, that was a real um, uh, problem. But I could see it was great for them doing that. Uh, switching to the Intel platform because now they're going to have more performance type processors and um, now they can actually run Windows natively on Mac computers. So um, the switch to ARM software, there's going to be a big transition yet again. Uh, then, of course, when they made the switch in the 90s to Intel, uh, they had Rosetta to help support the switch over. Um, they, which was supposed to be a transition period using Rosetta, um, which emulates this PPC software on the x86 Intel processors. Now, 
They end up cutting support after so many years, which I understood. Now, my own th I'm going to give you my own thoughts on this. Um, I think they do need to pursue this option just to see if it's feasible in any sort of way. Uh, I do have my great big doubts on this. Now, I think it might be possible to use ARM processors in something like maybe their MacBook Airs. Um, if they could get the performance up yet still keep the efficiency or, or less power uh, battery power. Now, I think trying to increase the performance to match Intel's on an ARM processor, I think there's going to be... Um, you know uh, problems with that simply because when you're trying to raise the performance it's just going to use more battery uh you know more power and i don't know if you can really break the the law of physics with this if you're going to use more performance it's going to you know affect power consumption i mean it's just going to go up so while people are saying yeah going to arm will increase efficiency well if you're trying to raise up the performance a lot then i think you're going to lose battery life as well Um, do they, and my own thoughts on this, uh, did you really want to a, uh, alienate long-time uh, Mac users? They already transitioned from PPC to Intel back in the 90s. Do they want to do it yet again? Um, so a lot of these developers are also going to have to um, transition the software over as well. Um, and some developers may not even want to do it. They'll just, you know, stop developing, you know, entirely. Um, now, of course, I'm guessing the Apple's going to, for their own native um, applications, they are going to transition it to, uh, they wouldn't tra uh, transition it to ARM processors. We're also going to see fragmentation of the operating system and apps. Uh, I know Apple has been trying to prevent that, even with this Mac Mini. Uh, I think um, they decided to stay with the same processor and same screen resolution to help prevent you know, uh, developers from making uh, um, new apps just for that uh, Mac Mini. Um, now, I do know the uh, the ARM processors are starting to be used in servers a lot, multi-core processors. Um, while it's great for that, um, you got to think too, are these ARM processors going to have enough performance for things like video editing, gaming systems? Uh, so I, I do have my doubts. Uh, on using these ARM processors and that. Um, give me your thoughts on this. Uh, is, is Apple going to do it? And how is that going to affect the uh, computing industry?